Hey what's up guys this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I'm gonna show you guys a new 3-axis gimbal for mirrorless cameras and DSLRs. It's made by this company called Fossi Cam and the model of the gimbal is FM145 and it comes in this box packing. The box is quite big. You can see a picture of the gimbal here with the Sony A6300 on it. It says FM series micro DSLR stabilizer. It's made for mirrorless cameras, has 32-bit encoders. The body is made of aviation grade aluminum alloy and has dual sensors. Let's check out its features. It's a 3-axis gimbal and all the 3 axes have a range of 360 degree rotation. It has a shutter button on the handle, built-in Bluetooth to control the gimbal remotely and the payload it can take is 400 grams to 1.2 kgs. So those were its features. Now let's start with the unboxing and check out the gimbal. Let me grab my knife and cut this seal. I'd like to thank Fossicam for sending me this product for review purpose. Ok let's open the box. Oh there's a huge briefcase in the box. Let me just take it out of this cover. Oh my god that is heavy. So the gimbal comes in this huge briefcase guys. The build quality looks very nice. You've got the Fossicam branding here. Let me show you what's at the top. It has a handle over here to carry the briefcase and two locks beside that. Ok let's open the briefcase and check out the gimbal. So here it is guys, the Fossi Cam Gimbal. The inside of the case is completely padded with foam for full protection. You've got a manual over here, make sure to read it as it has complete info on the product. And here is the Fossi Cam FM145 3 axis gimbal. Let me take it out. It is very nicely packed. It easily weighs around 800 grams. Wow, looks and feels quite nice. The build quality looks good. Let me just put it here and see what else do we have in the case. You've got some cables here for controlling the camera with the gimbal. There's also a Fossicam mini tripod stand in the box. That is very nice. It's made of aluminum and the build quality is good. This tripod stand can be very handy guys. You can fix it to the base of your gimbal and easily place it anywhere. It can be really useful especially while balancing the gimbal. You've also got a lot of conversion plugs for the adapter. So no matter where you are, this gimbal will work for you. And here is the charging adapter for the gimbal. So these were all the items we got in the box. Now let's check out the Fossicam gimbal. It has a plastic cover over the handle. Let me just remove it. Ok I've removed it. Let's talk about the build quality. The upper part of the gimbal is completely made of aluminum. You've got the Fossicam branding here. It has these nice metallic red accents on all the three motors and also the adjustment screws. It has three 32 bit motor control units and the construction looks very rigid. If you observe carefully all the arms have an angular design. I'll tell you why it's like that in a moment. The motors are also very smooth. You've got the logo here as well. And this is the base plate where the camera is fixed. It has rubber padding on it. And this is how the bottom looks like. You've got a quarter inch screw here to fix the camera on the gimbal. This is the tilt axis motor, the roll axis motor and the pan axis motor. All of them have a 360 degree unlimited rotation range. The gimbal is very smooth guys. The movement feels really smooth. That's nice. Let me show you the handle. This is how the handle looks like. The handle feels comfortable to hold but I think it's made of plastic and not metal. It has these rubber paddings for extra grip. It has a 4 way navigational joystick to control the gimbal movements. This is the home button and beside that you've got an LED indicator and a mode button. It says FM145 here. On the left side you've got a power on off slide switch and a DC in charging port. On the right side, you've got a micro USB port and a quarter inch hole below that. Let me just open it and show you. You can fix an external monitor or any other item you want over here. And at the back, you've got a shutter button. So you can shoot photos and videos on the camera through the gimbal itself. The quality of all the buttons are nice. The buttons feel tactile and clicky. At the bottom, you've got two mounting holes. One is a 3 8 inch and the other is a quarter inch thread. There's also one more micro USB port over here to connect your camera and access the shutter function. All of the arms on the gimbal have a scale with markings on them so you can balance the gimbal easily. That's nice. Ok guys now I'll show you how to fix the camera on it and balance the gimbal. It is very easy to do that. You can use this Fossi Cam mini tripod stand to fix the camera on it. It can be really helpful. Let me just fix it to the gimbal. There you go. One thing I noticed was the mini tripod was not straight. It was holding the gimbal slightly in off center position. I don't know why it's like that but hope they make it straight in the next model. Ok guys before fixing the camera, you should make sure that the gimbal is in this position. The roll axis motor should be facing towards you. 
and the tilt axis motor should be on your right side. Now take the camera, put it on the base plate and fix it with the screw. Once after doing that, you need to balance all the three arms. You can do that with the given three screws on the three axis. Let's start with the roll axis first. Loosen up the screw and push the arm in the opposite direction little by little until you feel the camera is balanced on that axis. After that, go for the other axis. And also move the camera back and forth on the base plate, just like I'm doing. Now one more thing you should be careful is that don't leave the camera in unbalanced state as you may damage your lens or the camera. There you go, the gimbal is balanced. Now let's power it on. The Fosicam gimbal is balanced and all ready to be used. The FM145 gimbal has 5 modes on it which I'll be explaining you in a moment. Ok guys, I'll explain and show you all the different modes on this gimbal. By default when you power it on, it enters in the pan following mode. In this mode, both the tilt axis and the roll axis are locked. As you can see the camera doesn't move no matter how I move the handle. But the camera can be completely controlled with the joystick. And also the camera follows the movement of the handle in the pan axis, hence the name pan follow or semi lock mode. Now by pressing the mode button 2 times, it enters the semi follow mode, where the camera tilts and pans following the movements of the handle, while the roll axis is locked. Just check out this clip. And you can also control the camera movements with the joystick. Now by triple pressing the mode button, you enter into the full lock mode, where the camera is fixed in one position and all the three axes are locked. As you can see, no matter how I try to move the gimbal, the camera is always fixed in one direction. But again using the joystick, you can control the camera. Now by pressing the mode button 4 times, you enter into the full follow mode, where the camera pans, tilts and rolls exactly following the movements of the gimbal. You can get some amazing shots in this mode. And finally, by pressing the mode button 5 times, you get the time lapse mode, where you can set the desired time from 1 minute to 2 hours to complete a 360 degree rotation, and the gimbal will do the job automatically for you. Now let's put the gimbal to a test and see how it performs. This video was shot on Sony A6300, it doesn't have in-body image stabilization, and this is how the video looks like. I was walking casually, and as you can see, there's a lot of shake in the video. Now I fixed my Sony A6300 on the Fosicam F145 gimbal and walking in the same way. Let's see how it turns out. There's a huge improvement in the video. The shake in the video has been reduced by a great extent and is very much usable. It feels like the camera is gliding in the air. Just have a look at this video clip. Now let's run and see how the gimbal performs. This video was shot on my A6300 without the gimbal. There's complete shake in the video and it's pretty much useless. Now let's shoot with the Fosse Cam gimbal. As you can see I'm running and the shake is very less compared to the previous clip. I won't say it's completely zero but it definitely gives good results. Here are a few more video samples shot with the Fosicam FM145 gimbal. The gimbal was performing good considering the price point. 
It also has built-in Bluetooth, so you can download an app on your phone and control it wirelessly. It also has support to charge Sony cameras on the go, that's a really good feature. This gimbal has a max payload of only 1.2 kgs, so you can use it with mirrorless cameras and also DSLRs, just make sure that the total weight including the lens is less than 1.2 kgs. Coming to the battery life, the battery life was pretty decent. I was easily getting about 9 to 10 hours of battery life on a single charge. One more thing I'd like to tell you guys about this gimbal is, you see this angular arm here? The roll axis motor is placed at an angled position to view the camera's display, while the other gimbals have it here, obstructing the view. That's a very good design, they made it so that we can easily access the monitor and the viewfinder. So that was my review on the FossiCam FM145 3-axis handheld gimbal. It's a good gimbal, it can be used with both mirrorless and DSLR cameras. I've been using it for a long time, it was giving good results, the performance was really nice, the battery life was also decent, only the build quality of the handle could be improved a bit, but apart from that I think it's a very good gimbal. It's also very reasonably priced, it's only available for 27,000 and for that price it was offering good features. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below, you can get it from there. And before concluding this video, I'd like to thank Dress Lily for sponsoring me with these clothes. They have a great collection guys, do check out their website, I'll just leave a link in the description box. So that was it for today guys, thanks for watching this video, hope you liked it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.